Welcome to our session talk with leaders dedicated to Green Recognition Award with participation of awarding institution ADI from France. My name is Pavel Kapstorfer and I'm MFC Network and Partnership Manager and I will be moderating this session. In case of any technical issues, please direct your messages in chat to our technical coordinator, my colleague Olga, who is in the backstage ready to assist you. Our session will last approximately 20 minutes. In case you would have any comments or questions to our speaker, please post them in chat. Towards the end of the session, we hope to have some space to answer them. As you might have heard at today's opening ceremony, MFC decided to recognize Adi as 2023 leader in inclusive green transition. Microfinance Center is trying to recognize organizations with interesting and innovative practices that serve as an inspiration to others in the sector and encourage them to implement into practice similar or new ideas that eventually help the clients on the way towards their green transition. ADI provides financial and non-financial services, helping their clients to transit their businesses into more green, save energy, and let them understand the benefits from green practices. Analysis Grid and Self-Diagnosis Tool enables their loan advisors to integrate the environmental dimension into their customers' activities in order to reduce certain costs, raise awareness of regulatory standards, or develop a brand image. We have with us Lisa Kyo, Head of International Affairs, who will be able to share more details about their innovative approach and initiatives helping clients with their green transition. Dear Lisa, welcome. And let me, you know, post, let me give you first question, which I would like to share the answer with the participants of our session. Of course. Thanks a lot, Pavel. So let, me, let, let, me, let me formulate uh, the first question for you today. Could you please briefly introduce Adi and tell us why did Adi decided to play a role in the green transition of clients? Yes. So in a few words, Adi is a non-profit uh, microfinance institution. We serve in France over 86,000 active clients through financial products and non-financial services. We have a broad network. We are present everywhere in France, in mainland and overseas territories. And ADI means Association for the Rights for Economic Initiative. Uh, it has been 30, created 34 years ago uh, by Maria Novak within the idea that everyone who wishes to become an entrepreneur should have the possibilities and the means to do so. So ADI had pledged in this sense since its creation in order to allow the most vulnerable to create their own businesses as a way of empowerment and to break the poverty circle. And now we are all as a society and as a microfinance institution uh, into this challenge to tackle the green transition. Uh, so it's the biggest current challenge and for the years to come, and it will include dramatic changes in every economy. So in France, the law is moving really fast in this sense. And sometimes the law is something really theoretical that doesn't consider all of the practical changes. And I took the example of the low emission zones. So 11 cities in France have implemented zones where polluting cars, mostly all diesel cars, uh, have not the right to enter. So many of our vulnerable entrepreneurs are particularly exposed uh, since they have all cars. Some of them may not be able to work in those cities in the future. So making sure that our client can face those type of changes, thanks to dedicated products and uh, trainings is in Addis DNA. And that's why we are so committed uh, in green transition that we like to call inclusive green transition. And uh, we conducted a survey this year. Uh, our clients are like most citizens. They feel concerned about climate change. And 96% of them declare that they want to play a role into green, green transition. That's why we are trying our best to provide our clients what they need to tackle this challenge. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, I understand that you were also doing some survey, right? Yes. And, and uh, could you perhaps uh, tell us a little bit about that? What was the result of the survey? 
So we surveyed over a hundred a thousand four hundred our, our clients to see their uh, behavior towards green transition, to see what's uh, their position, what do they want to do, and what they need to do so. So in our survey, uh, more than 64% of the respondents say that it's the lack of financial means that impede, impede them to do more. And also 40% of them declare it's a lack of information. That's why we have a role to play in offering good products and at the same way, raising awareness to show that tackling ch climate change and green transition can be at the reach of any entrepreneurs. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's get more concrete. Uh, how do you contribute to green transition of your clients, to inclusive green transition, as you decided to call it, through your products and services? What are the solutions are they developed to help them? Uh, may, may I share my screen? Uh, sure, sure. Um, please, please do so. Okay, so... Uh, is it does anyone everyone sees it? Or? Yeah, but can you can you start maybe the presentation mode or slideshow or uh, you know this book? Yes. Open book mode at the bottom of the um, of the screen. You have the icons in the right side. Yes, well, exactly. Thanks. Um, super. For the help in technology, uh, so we identified three challenges. The first one is the change in practices for our clients and uh, in changing practice and equipment might be expensive. So we dedicated financial product for green transition, such as mobility loan, quasi equity loan for grid projects. We have some partnerships. For instance, we have a partnership with Dacia Renault, uh, who is we have a project of uh, social leasing. We have also partnership with Uber, uh, in which Uber uh, finances uh, equity loan for its most experienced driver to have a cleaner car. And we have some good deals uh, in which like we have partnerships with some uh, companies that offer discounts. For instance, we have a, a discount with uh, reconditioned uh, technical and informatical equipment. Uh, so the results we were expecting is for our clients to have access to funding to improve their environmental impact and link, launch green innovation. The other challenge is that it may green transition may appear as an additional hurdle for vulnerable entrepreneurs. So that's why we developed some non-financial services. Uh, so the self-diagnosis grid that I will talk about later workshops on the benefits of green transition, mailing supports, and fact sheets in order to achieve the goal that our clients will perceive green transitions not as a hurdle, not as a burden, but as a lever for their company's success. And the third challenge is for our teams to feel legitimate to tackle this complex issue because not everyone is an expert, and we wanted to prove and to show our team that there's no need to be an expert to tackle this challenge and to address our clients' needs. So we conducted awareness raising workshops uh, for more than half of uh, our 500 employees. And in every region and all departments, we have referees for green transitions that are in charge of action plans. So we wanted our team to feel empowered and legitimate to advise our clients. So this is more or less the whole package, let's say, of what we are doing this year uh, for inclusive green transition. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, it seems like this uh, building uh, of a partnerships with external stakeholders is really important part of, uh, of the journey. And uh, also making sure that all employees uh, really feel engaged uh, and uh, equipped uh, with the knowledge and empowered uh, to communicate also with your partners, with your clients. Exactly. No, yeah, we we have the chance to have a broad associative economic economic system in France. So mm -hmm. we are really trying to work with other NGOs. Uh, there is a, a great NGO called La Fresque du Climat that's make at disposition of everyone good uh, awareness raising workshops. So we're trying really to work with all the ecosystem 
to tackle the issue. Okay, thank you. Uh, and now I would appreciate if you could explain uh, about the self-diagnosis grid, uh, one of the main tools that helps you to assess the status of the client green transition. Exactly. So this tool has two objectives, to question the client's practices on energy consumption, on suppliers, packaging, projection, logistics, and communication, and to help them build an action plan based on impacts and temporality. So we are based on the five R rules, refuse, reduce, reuse, repair, recycle. And uh, we are trying to make it really like easy to understand. And it's really, the, we, saw, we saw on our social media that the topic of green transition is highly polarizing. Every time we post a video, uh, the comments are really negative because people see that they have to do changes and sometimes they don't feel they can because of finance or because of awareness. So we really wanted to build a tool to show the small steps uh, that our clients can make toward green transition and to show them that those steps are not only good for the planet, but also a lever for their company's success. Uh, in instance, uh, for instance, we are trying to make uh, our clients understand that to reach out to new customers with a high level of awareness, uh, they have to adapt their offer to, let's say, seduce or conquer new new customers uh, for them. And also, we insist on the co benefits uh, that uh, prove that we can have a possibility to save money on uh, energy consumption, on fuel. Uh, so to show them that it is not something, a hurdle, but a lever. Uh, so the idea of the tool is to make a review on the practices and the possibility to implement on short and medium term uh, some actions toward green transitions. So we are increasingly using this tool in our non-financial services to target clients who need extra support. Uh, and we're also trying to use it more in our loan appraisal process uh, for our loan officer to raise awareness among our, our clients uh, to achieve their goals. So, for instance, if a client in its business plan, in its project needs a computer, with this self-grid tool, we can, let's say, direct him to a cheaper and a better for the environment solution, which is to have access to reconditioned materials. So we have like built these tools on the paper and now we apply it also to the Transform Together Fund in order to make it digitalized and available 24 seven for all the entrepreneurs who wishes to have a positive impact on the environment through their businesses. All right. Uh, yeah, it, it sounds uh, very interesting, maybe, you know, because we have still a little time left uh, to to develop a little bit further about uh, this tool. Uh, could you perhaps say uh, something uh, about uh, the reactions of the clients? Huh? Because, you know, some clients are more conservative, uh, some are more in favor and progressive, you know, uh, to really go on the path of the green transition. Uh, could you perhaps share, you know, your experience uh, with the with the reactions, with the feedback of the clients on using or utilizing such a tool? Yeah, I think like the best reaction we have is when we really insist on the benefits it provides because green transition for some people may appear that good feeling or good in intentions, but when we translate it into what they can save as energy, as money. Uh, in order to put some actions, uh, they are really like willing to learn better because it's good for them, not only for the planet, but really like when we we want to build capacities among them. And uh, the fact that it's mostly in collective trainings, it's really good because this is the self-diagnosis. And then in collective trainings, they may share experience, they may share learnings and how to do better for them and for their businesses. So really like to base this approach on co-benefits, it's what allows us to receive good feedbacks for our clients. All right, thank you. Uh, I see we have uh, some 
question or comment uh, from uh, Alinda. In some of the countries, the challenge is not just on customer education and recognition of the benefits for such an investment, but the availability and or limitation of these products and solution providers in the country. What is the experience in your case with this challenge and advice how to overcome it? This is a really good question because I think we also have this challenge where we have good products, but we also lack some fundings to offer it more. Uh, so we have the chance, we are developing a partnership with BNP Paribas uh, and we are building a financial tool for us to have access to a loan. And if we achieve some measurable impacts on social and environmental um impacts and uh, results, uh, the loan will be with a bonus at the end. So we are yeah. currently uh, building the impact assessment. I think Permicro also is uh, uh, into this phase of uh, development of this financial product. So if we show impact, we can have access to other fundings. I think this is what is going to be the main challenges for most of the financial institution for the years to come is to access fundings, but to access fundings now we have also to prove the impact. Oh, yes, indeed. I mean, uh, this is this is really topic for many microfinance uh, and social finance providers be able to start uh, to prove that they are delivering uh, on uh, on the on the impact. And uh, yeah, great to to hear from you. Uh, that this is already in your pipeline. And we have uh, we have also another question from Getane. Uh, uh, can you elaborate on the uh, fifth R indicators and average loan size? Uh, on five I... R's indicators, right? You mentioned in your cell diagnosis tool indicators. Yeah. And the average loan size, if you could say a few words about that. So it's not really indicators, but it's like the let's say, uh, the basis for us to address how to do more by simple steps. So refuse or reduce, for instance, is to refuse plastic bags. So as a consumer, but also as a business owner, to say, this is what I won't do anymore. And clients, customers are sensitive to that. And also that... Uh, now for the repair, the air for repair, uh, the French government just uh, has implemented a bonus for clients who goes to repair their, their shoes or their clothes to some registered business where if you go there, you can have a discount on your, uh, let's say, little work that's uh, uh, to repair your shoes. So it's really the idea that small steps can create let's say, a movement or big ideas, and it's positive for the clients and for the customers. Okay, thank you, Lise. Unfortunately, we have last two minutes uh, to the session and uh, to allow everybody to move to the next one. I would like to thank you, uh, all the participants. If you have any questions, I see Natalia posted some questions. Uh, feel free to contact directly, Lise. I mean, all the informations are on the website of the event. So uh, I think uh, you can approach uh, also her directly or uh, post it to us uh, if you wish so. And uh, I would like to thank you all of you for joining us today. Congratulations to Adi with the Thanks award. Thank you, Lisa, for being with us.